Lou Pinella and the Reds looking for the season opening three game sweep of the Houston Astros on Thursday night. And they would face Pete Harnish making his National League debut. The former Oriole would strike out six Reds in his five innings of work, including Jeff Reed in the bottom of the second. Then Carl Rhodes in the top of the fourth would give Houston a 2 0 lead as he doubles to left field. On the play, Steve Finley and Craig Biggio score. Rhodes with three hits in this one, and Houston leads 2 0. But in the bottom of the fourth, Harnish would walk the bases loaded, and then he would force in a run as he walks Billy Hatcher. This would score Eric Davis, and it's 2-1. to one. Harnish would work just five innings in this one, walking eight reds, despite the fact that he allowed no hits in that span. So Harnish leaves after five, and he struck out six batters. Kurt Schilling would be in later on in the game after this no-hitter had long since been broken up. In fact, the reds would get three hits in this game. Schilling with a single in his first major league at bat that would score Rhodes to make it four to one as that comes off Rob Dibble and Dibble no doubt not happy about allowing a hit to a relief pitcher in his first major league at bat well the very next pitch is to Eric Yelding and he throws it behind him that prompts Yelding to charge the mound and throw his helmet and then the benches would clear when the smoke would clear the Reds would find Dibble ejected from this game and Yelding also tossed out of this one as the benches would be cleared for a few minutes. And we see Ken Caminiti, the Astros' third baseman, mixing this one up at the bottom part of the picture. The Astros would go on to win by the final of 4-1, to one, harness the winner in his first National League game, while Norm Charlton, the Cincinnati starter, is the loser. He's 0-1. Schilling gets his first save of the year as the Reds find themselves out of first place for the first time in more than a year, as last year they went wire-to-wire -wire in winning the NL West.